Hello, it's Ray, the Flavor Queen from Essie's Delights. And everybody don't like buttercream or cream cheese frosting. So I wanna show you a quick, simple way to make um, some whipped cream up. It's a few steps, a few ingredients, but most important, you need to have your bowl chilled and the whisk attachment chilled. So important, we need a chilled bowl and a chilled whisk attachment. Okay, so for the whipped cream frosting, I just told you very important to have a chilled bowl and a chilled whisk. You need a cup of heavy whipping cream. Your, you can use vanilla or if you want a different flavor, I'm using Lorraine oils because I'm a fan of Lorraine oils, emulsions and flavorings. I'm gonna just do butter vanilla. You need two tablespoons of white sugar. And because I want a stable whipped cream, I have a mixture of unflavored gelatin with water and powdered sugar. So we gotta do this quick. So pour your milk, not your milk, your heavy cream and your sugar. I'm gonna do maybe a teaspoon of butter vanilla. So I'm just gonna do, cause that's a half teaspoon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do two. Got my teaspoon of butter vanilla and you have to do this quick because your bowl needs to be chilled. So you put it on low for a minute till it's just mixed real good. So a minute has gone and everything should be incorporated, the white sugar and the heavy cream. So I'm just gonna add my little mix of unflavored gelatin here, which is gonna make it a stabilized, a more stabilized whipped cream. And now you're gonna increase your speed to high until it reaches its peak. About two to three minutes on high. So I'm gonna move that over there, put this back down, put it on high. And we're gonna watch it, watch some whipped cream. Here's your whipped cream. Five to 10 minutes to make. A few simple ingredients and you have whipped cream for those who don't like regular frosting. Enjoy. So here's your whipped cream. I'm just got it in a container. I'm gonna sit it in the refrigerator. Like I said, everybody don't like buttercream or cream cheese frosting. So this is just a quick and easy way to give them a substitution for it. This whipped cream I'm actually going to mix with some buttercream to lighten it up a little bit, lighten the sweetness to put on top of some cupcake cups. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, save, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back real soon. This is Ray, the Flavor Queen from Essie's Delights.